Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Neutrino weather for May 3rd till May 9th. And um, I must say that this week I'm um, gladly surprised by the Neutrino weather because Jupiter is moving into the 8th hexagram. So this happens on Friday. And later, very shortly after, it will be joined by um, the Earth in the first gate. And we'll have this channel over here that you know, talks about our being creatively expressing itself and making a creative contribution, the channel of inspiration. Now, what I find so fascinating about, um, yeah, being aligned with the program as a reflector is that on Friday, I'm stepping into a eight-day workshop that has everything to do with bringing oneself forward creatively and all the blocks that we've experienced on that road or the lack of self-confidence or all other kind of, you know, basically resistance mechanisms that you know, withhold us from bringing forward our creative expression in this life. And for me, that's been, that's always been a big theme. Um, so I'm, I'm, you know, very gladly assisting in, in a workshop of a friend of mine who, who also wrote a book. It's called, it's a Spanish book so far. It's going to be soon translated if you ever, you know, if you're interested in his work, it's called Sanar el Corazón, you know, uh, Healing the Heart by Ketan Raventos. And um, yeah, fantastic weather for this kind of work, you know, because not only is there the, the, the energy to bring oneself forward, um, Trusting one's differentiation, you know, bringing forward the essence of our difference. So many times I, I, I heard Ra talk about the fact that, yes, we are all a genetic mutation. You know, we are uh, unique, incomparable and, um, you know, in that sense, mutative. But a whole other thing is to bring forward something that he referred to as cultural mutation, which is the mutation of our awareness, you know, which is really learning to embrace our difference and leaving the mind aside as a decision maker, because the mind is homogenization, the mind is conditioning. Hmm? And so in that sense, the capacity to bring forward the awareness that is hidden in our essence in a creative and inspiring way is what this channel you know helps us with and then on top of it you know there is still this energy in the air until all the way till the end of the uh, of the the week where we see like not only is there the possibility to bring forward that creative stance there is also that energy that supports us in you know finding the courage to stand in our essence in our innocence in yeah the bravery of the heart to stand up for oneself and express oneself creatively and this whole week we have the sun in the second uh, gate which is basically supporting that intelligence through listening to the body so most of the work that i'm doing is um what I'll be doing this week is oriented towards body intelligence meditation there's a lot of you know, Osho's um, touches on this kind of work. And so I'm really delighted to see how the neutrino weather is, um, yeah, supporting this whole endeavor. So that's, that's really nice. What else are we seeing this week? 
this uh, this morning I had a, a a coffee with a friend of mine, and I was sharing with her, you know, that obviously it's interesting to to look at the at the neutrino weather by looking what sits in our personal chart. You no, know? and I was having a coffee with her, and she was saying, you know, I have the forty three, and um, she has the twenty five. And I was sharing, like, you know, these are times where through the 51st gate now in Mercury and in the North Node, you find the courage to stand up for yourself. And here you find, you know, the confidence also to bring to bring about your knowing, you know, your, your insights, how you feel about things, how you stand in life. All of a sudden there's energy supporting you to... Kind of like you know, stand up for yourself and express your knowing. And she was like, "Wow, that's really interesting to see how you know these these this neutrino weather influences us exactly where in the chart. You know, there is a difference because sometimes I I listen to uh, astrologers talking about um, astrological positions and all this kind of stuff, which I find it amusing and interesting." But it's not really able to tell you, you know, this position in the body graph is doing this to a hanging gate that you have in a center that is undefined and thus gives you an extra, in her case, heart energy to find the courage in herself to stand up for herself and her integrity. So, you know, this is something to take into account. Um, when I take my own example, I also see, for example, that in my case, I have my moon in the same gate as Saturn. No, my moon is in the 63rd gate, and now Saturn it has been hoovering on top of my moon for about a month or something, You know, maybe even lo longer. I don't recall exactly. It will also, I don't know if it, it stays the whole week still in, Saturn stays the whole week in, no, it changes. No, so we, this week we also have this change of Saturn going from the 63 to the 22nd. And what I notice is that Saturn has helped me to inquire more deeply, sometimes harshly, you know, sometimes a feeling of like, oof, uh, it's not so easy to wake up to seeing and inquiring into certain patterns and understanding that those patterns had had a, a mental grip on my life. So, you know, when uh, when Saturn will be moving to the 22nd gate, it's going to be on the other side of my south node in the, tw in the 12th. You know? So anybody having the 12th and Saturn moving into the 22nd gate, let's, you know, try to be precise and see when exactly so that's on the fifth there is this capacity to express one's own spirits and also to recognize the cautiousness that has been there you know, all the mechanisms or the defenses that we've laid upon a hanging 12 for example in the throat center which is my case you now which is by the way another very interesting contribution to this week you know it's like i'm doing work this week that has to do with investigating themes that have to do with uh, creative expression and at the same time i'm getting backed up by saturn and getting the energy to see like hey what is it about me avoiding expressing my spirit you know, this is all the defenses that i have laid down in the open solar on my open solar plexus all of a sudden i get a defined solar plexus through saturn hooking up to my 12th and i'll get to see you know, how, or I get a clearer look on the avoidance of confrontation and truth in expressing myself um, uh, from my spirit, so to speak. So this also another, another, you know, I'm just sharing some, some reflections with you on the weather. Mm, the defense mechanism in the open solar plexus or in the solar plexus as such because it's just the mind on the solar plexus let's say the obvious obviously it's more interesting to look at when you have it open the the 
the mind has a stance that says, I'm avoiding confrontation and truth. And I recall having for a long time this, this, this entanglement with what is truth. And for me, the way that I look at it now is truth, and I'm drawing an eye, you know, truth is my my witnessing consciousness. It's the seer in me. Right? I cannot access the seer in me in the emotional solar plexus field if I'm avoiding and displaying energy towards not wanting to feel something. Right? If I'm pos positioning myself mentally in a defensive position towards the emotional wave, it's going to be very difficult to enter into my witnessing consciousness and my choiceless consciousness in terms of the emotional field. So Saturn moving there will definitely give me the opportunity to see like, okay, what have I been you know, afraid of most of the time? You know, because that in the end, it is what it is about when it comes to the mind so um one other thing that um, stands out this week is venus is going into the and is already is going into the 27th gate you know it's moving further through the 27th gate you know 27th gate is the the aspect of the life force of our vitality the sacral center is the aspect of the sacral center that is oriented towards life being caring. And um, I find that such a beautiful aspect of the life force, you know, that life itself comes with caring. And this week we have Venus standing there. You know? So the standards, the, the, the things that are like, hey, this is something to uphold. And in my case, I have the 50th gate, I have Uranus in the 50th gate. So, you know, there is also this extra energy that has to do with being caring and I would say compassionate towards myself because it's going to be a week of looking at all the defenses that I've laid down in terms of, you know, expressing myself creatively. So one of the things that I'm going to do this week is in the written part of my newsletter, I'm going to extend myself a little bit on the eight hexagram, you know, because there's interesting stuff there. There's this stuff there that talks about, you know, the basic word realized in contributing individual efforts to group goals. You know? And you know, as often the case with human design language, what I find important when we read human design coding is to pay attention not to bring it into the mind. You know? So this is not really talking about individual efforts in terms of willpower or something like that. This There's there, there's nothing pointing towards it. For me, individual efforts here is really talking about the expression of our essence, the bringing forward of our awareness through the creative difference that we are. You know? So, and in that sense, we, we are contributing, we're bringing a little piece of consciousness to the collective that enriches it. Huh? So, um, yeah, that, that's that's my, my perspective on this eight gate over there. And so the whole week, well, not the whole week, but quite a chunk of the, of the week will be going through the incarnation cross of the Sphinx and later on, um, defiance so interestingly the cross of the sphinx with the sun in the second gate is pointing us clearly towards the fact that if we want to I mean, the language is always a little difficult, but if we if we want to align or in order to align with our direction in life, the the essence of the direction is found in listening to the body. 
So listening to the intelligence sitting in the body, strategy, inner authority gives you a, a, a more refined view on how your body intelligence works. And so, you know, this second gate is all yin and definitely invites us in a certain kind of like dropping in, you know, dropping into what's going on in terms of what is my body signaling, what is the intelligence sitting there, and what are all the blocks that I laid down that have to do with, you know, knowing how to listen to my body. So definitely, you know, interesting to see that this week it's oriented. We're entering into the quarter of mutation. Uh, so we're entering into the quarter of civilization. We're entering into the intelligence found, genius found. Everybody carries his own genius. Genius found through listening to the intelligence that sits inside of the body. And that's basically the, the whole message of human design. Ra was often pointing out human design is form knowledge. And so human design allows us to see in a more differentiated way what the intelligence is and how it operates in our forms. And so this week, you know, big call out in that sense to tune into the body you know take take this weather to your advantage as i definitely will and you know tune into the body see what the possibilities for creative expression you know or what what held you away from expressing yourself creatively from standing up for for yourself from tuning into yourself from caring towards yourself and then obviously also you know seeing the movement from saturn from, hey, here are certain patterns that maybe there is an interesting perspective for you there. And now, you know, what has withheld you from expressing your spirit in a graceful way? So, yeah, these were my reflections on the week. I invite you to listen or to read a little bit deeper the stuff that I'll be sharing on the 8th hexagram. And I wish you a very nice week. Bye.